okay let us try to learn one thing over here so another thing that we have is called as lcm okay uh, what is lcm by the way so it is the lowest common multiple here we don't talk about divisors rather we talk about something like multiples so let's say you have numbers like uh, 6 and 8 okay so what is the meaning of lowest common multiples 6 will have mul different multiples can you tell me some multiples of 6 the multiples will be 6 12 18 24 36 and so on 8 will also have so many multiples 8 16 24 32 and so on the first multiple which is common that will be regarded as the lowest common multiple so this is how lcm is defined okay now can somebody tell me if i am supposed to find let's say lcm of a comma b if i have to find lcm of a comma b uh, what could be the minimum value of this what could be the minimum value of lcm of two numbers can i say the minimum value of these will be for sure this thing will always be greater than equals to max of a comma b because it can never so happen that you have two numbers like 100 and something like this and the smaller number happens to be the common multiple because you can never have this as a multiple of this smaller number can never be a multiple of larger number multiples are always greater or equal okay so but it can quite happen that you have two numbers like 2 and 100 and whatsoever is the maximum okay that is actually the lowest common multiple so lowest common multiple will vary from this thing and what will be the maximum value the maximum value will be a into b right so in the worst case it would happen that let's say you have something like 5 and 7 the lcm is 35 over here okay lcm is 35 because uh, if you have two numbers a comma b then a into b is divisible by a also and is divisible by b also so anything that is greater than this no need to consider that this will for sure be a common multiple i can have something which is smaller than this and is a lowest common multiple but definitely anything beyond this is useless yeah so tell me uh, what will be the most basic way to solve it what is the easiest way to get lcm of two numbers can i simply run a loop that starts from here and goes till here can i do that i can do that right i can simply write a loop that starts from max of a comma b and runs till a into b and whatever is the first number which is divisible by a and b here is divisible by in the last question it was divides okay here it, which is divisible by a and b that can be regarded as the lowest common multiple okay but this will again be an expensive approach because max of the two numbers can be as low as something like 10 and a into b can be as great as let's say 10 raised to power 10 so you will have too many iterations to run which is not a great job so here you can use one very simple equation which says that lcm of two numbers into hcf of two numbers is basically product of two numbers which is a into b this is a very standard expression that you should be very very aware of okay a very important thing over here is that this lcm is the lcm of what a comma b okay and the hcf over here is the hcf of what a comma b and this is the two numbers whose lc hcf and lcms have been taken and you can take an example let's say the numbers are like 5 and 7 so the product of 5 and 7 is 35 and what is the hcf of 5 and 7 the hcf is 1 and then the lcm is 35 so if you take any example you will see that this particular thing is satisfied now if you know this equation uh, i leave that proof to you it's a simple simple enough proof not a tough thing you can think of it on your own spend some time take some examples you will be able to get to that okay uh, yeah so just tell me one thing if you are aware of this expression uh, this equation can you figure out the lcm of two numbers in log of max of a comma b time can you figure that out you can figure that out very easily because hcf can be got in log of this much time and once you have hcf then lcm is nothing but a into b upon this number okay is that clear to everyone let everyone understand how it can be gotten from here 
So this is a very standard way through which you can compute LCM of the two numbers. Okay. How can max of this be 10 and a into b be 10 raised to power 9? It can be, right? Uh, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I think I said wrong. Yeah, that would not be the case, but it can happen that uh, max of something like a comma b is a number like let's say 10 raised to power 6 and a into b is something like 10 raised to power 11. This is quite likely, right? If your a was 10 raised to power 6 and b was 10 raised to power 5, max can be this and product can be this. Still, this is a very huge range. Okay. So the intention was just to show you that this range can be very, very large if you iterate over it. Okay.